Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to find the area and perimeter of rectangles as well as shapes that are made up of rectangles. Now to start off when to find the area of a rectangle we need to know the formula and you might be familiar with one formula uh, for a rectangle which would be area equals length times width. And in this case, we are going to use area equals base times height. Now, the reason why we're changing it from length and width and base times height is, you know, length and width, it really doesn't matter what the orientation is. But base and height, what we're talking about with the base is if we were going to take these figures off of this, you know, off of that, off the wall and, you know, put them on my hand, whatever, whatever size would lie on my hand, you know, the um, flat on my hand would be what we call the base. So over here, you can see in this example, we have a rectangle. We know it's a rectangle because one of the characteristics of rectangles is having four right angles. Now, what's also important about knowing a rectangle is you have opposite sides are equal in measure. So in this case, you can see right now, we don't have any measurement for this base. So this would be the base and this would be the height. However, since I know these opposite sides are congruent, I know that that's also going to be seven meters. Now, the other thing just to re realize is I could also orientate this. I could flip it over to its side and say here's four and here's seven and say all right that's four that's my base and that's my height because if you notice the formula base times height it doesn't really matter if it's you know four times seven or seven times four we're still going to get um, we're still going to have the same area so in this example let's just leave it as that and to find my area for here all I'm simply going to do is do seven meters times oops four meters and that's going to equal 28 meters squared. Remember, area represents basically the space inside, uh, the, the space that takes that rectangle takes up. You know, one way to think about that is, um, you know, like wrapping paper. What would it take to cover, you know, that up with a sheet of paper? How, how much paper would it take to cover that up? And that's going to be represented the area. Now, to find the perimeter, that's going to be basically the distance around the figure. So if we we're going to take a string and wrap it around the, uh, wrap around that rectangle, how long would that string need to be? So we have 7 meters, 4 meters, 7 meters, and then also we know that this also has to be 4 meters. Um, so therefore we do 7 meters plus 4 meters plus 7 meters plus 4 meters. And let's see, that's going to be 22 meters. Now remember, since area is dealing with one, you know, two different dimensions, you're going left and right and up and down in this case, you have two dimensions, that's why it's meter squared. Whereas perimeter is just, if you were to like unfold that, you're just dealing with really one length of the string. So therefore, it's going to be um, just 22 meters. Let's go to the next one here. Um, we actually don't know this is a square, so I'm going to include four right angles. In this case, we have a square, which is a type of a rectangle, that has four right angles. But now you can see that all the sides are the same. And that's very important because if I have one side, which is 6.5 feet, that means all of them are 6.5 feet. Right? So therefore, to find the area, I can say that's my base, and that would be my height. So I'd say area equals 6.5 feet. And since it's being multiplied by itself, I can just square it, which I don't recall off the top of my head. So I'm going to go and do this on my nice little calculator. So 6.5 times 6.5, and I get 42.25. And that's going to be feet squared. OK? Uh, to find the perimeter, I'm basically just adding up all these sides. So there's four side lengths, and they're all 6.5. So for the perimeter, I'm just going to do 4 times 6.5 feet. And 4 times 6.5 is 26. I probably should have been able to do that. <laughs> Equals 26 feet. OK. Um, now in this case, um, in this example, uh, what we have is we have a larger square, uh, we have a smaller square inside of a large square. And usually a lot of times, you know, we deal with a problem like this is like a picture frame. And let's just pretend that's what that represents. So the shaded region is the, is the picture frame, okay? So what we want to do is then determine, you know, what would be the, um, how big, how much area does that picture frame take up? So really the question that we're asking is the area of the larger minus the area of the smaller equals our area, right? And that's basically the area of the picture frame is the area of the large. So I'm going to use subscripts to represent the large area and the small area. So the large area is a 7 by 4. You can see 7 by 4, whereas the small area is going to be a 2 by 5. I'm sorry, I don't want to like confuse you there. Let's do that. So that's going to be a 2 by 5. 
or it looks like that, 5 by 2. Okay. So therefore, all I simply need to do in this example is find the area of each one. Oops, I forgot to write that down. Centimeters. Um, I forget what that is. That, these are all inches. OK. Um, so now to find, to find this area, I need to find the area of the large. So really, I'm just doing area of the large minus area of the small is equal to my area. So the area of the large is going to be 4 inches times 7 inches minus the area of the small, which is going to be 2 inches times 5 inches. And that equals the area of my shaded region. So 4 times 7 is going to be 28 inches squared. Minus 2 times 5 is 10 inches squared. 28 inches squared minus 10 inches squared is 18 inches squared is going to be my area. Now the perimeter is looking like it's a little bit different. Um, you know, sometimes we might ask, what's this the perimeter of the interior region? But let's say you want to like do something decoration, right? And you want to do a border around the interior and the exterior. So let's find um, the let's find the perimeter of this interior as well as the exterior um, of the picture frame. So the exterior. So let's do the perimeter of the. So basically, the perimeter is going to be the perimeter of the large plus the perimeter of the small. So I'm just going to do this out, you know, talking this out loud because I'm kind of running out of space. So the perimeter of the large, we already know. Oh, that's uh, the same as this one, right? Four times seven. Yeah, cool. I didn't even recognize I do that. So therefore, that's 22. Four plus seven plus four plus seven, which is so. Four plus seven is 11. Plus four is going to be 15. Plus 7 is going to be 22, which I already have the answer there. So I have 22, 22 inches, plus 2 plus 5 is 7, plus 2 is 9, plus 5 is 14. Plus 14 inches equals 26 inches. So therefore, we have the perimeter as well as the area. OK, last but not least, we have this figure, which uh, we don't have a formula for. But what we notice is we see that each of these tick marks are all the same. So therefore, each of these sides is 3 centimeters. And each of these are 3 centimeters long. And that's very important because what we can do now is if we're trying to find the area using rectangles, we want to create some rectangles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of create some lines to create different uh, rectangles. So now you can see that the area of this, this is going to be a square, right? Three centimeters, three centimeters. And then these two sides have to be three centimeters. So therefore, the area of this one is nine centimeters squared. Over here, I'm dealing with three centimeters times three plus three, which is going to be six. So six times three is going to be 18 centimeters squared. And then over here, I have three centimeters times three, six, 3, 6, 9. So 9 times 3 is 27 centimeters squared. So in the previous example, we had to subtract, right? We had a larger area and a small area. So we subtracted them to find the difference. Here, we're actually adding all of those added up. So the area of this um, figure or this region is going to be 27 centimeters squared plus 18 centimeters squared plus 9 centimeters squared. And you can see, in this case, that's going to be 27. So that's going to be 54 centimeters squared. Now, to find the perimeter, the perimeter, again, we're going to want to kind of break this up. We see 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, right? Well, since I did these lines, we know that's 3, that's 3, and that's going to be 3. And then I could, I could bring this over and bring that one over, and I'd say 3, 3, 3. So let's count out basically how many measurements of 3 that we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So therefore, I'll do 12 times 3 centimeters, and that equals 36 centimeters. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the area as well as the perimeter of rectangles and their regions. Thanks.